Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Python snake main avatar in your, in your Unreal Engine. And also you can make the Python snake to become one of the NPC in your game project. So first I'm going to show you step by step. You open your iClon 7. The iClon 7. And then you go to the avatar here. Under the avatar, you can see here you have the Animal World Volume 5. You drag, drag the Python out and put it here. Now you have a Python snake. Next, you must make sure that the Unreal Engine, the, the iClone Unreal Live Link is already installed in your iClone. And also in your Unreal Engine game project, you already have the iClone Unreal Live Link plugged in and there. And then, in your iClone 7, you open the iClone Unreal Live link. Make sure you untick everything and only tick the Pythons. Next, you click Transfer File. It will transfer to your Unreal Engine. Here, you just need to wait for a while until it finishes. Once it finishes, it will be un under the contents. Revolution contents the pythons. This is the this is the transfer, but I, and you can see here you have a skeleton mesh. But actually we don't want to use this skeleton mesh, because this skeleton mesh is just to grab the material, the material instance directly from iClones. You can save the steps of set up the material. Next, in your iClone. Here you have to click Edit in 3D Exchange. Click No. It will, it will send to 3D Exchange. At this moment, you open again the icons. Go to the contents. Go to the animation here. It is under the motions. Templates motions. You should be able to see here. You have the Animal World Volume Five. Click the Python's folder. You can see all the snake animations, the Python snake animation are here. You right click, find file, it will open in the file explorer. Next, open your 3D Exchange 7. You are going to delete everything from here. And next, you come back to you come back to the Python's folder. All of these iClone motion files, you are going to select everything and drag it into the motion library. After that, you click Add All to Perform. Next, we are going to export the FBX file. I will export it on my desktop. I will open a new folder here. I right click New Folder. I will name it as Python01. Inside the Python01 folder, here I'm going to export the FBX file. The target two presets here I can select the Unreal Engine, the game engine Unreal. The first I don't want to include the animation. I only want to include the geometry. The file name I name it as Python, Python01. And this is a destination location. I will just copy this, Control C to copy, and I paste it here, Control V to paste. Next, I click OK, it will export it here. Next, I want to export the animations FBX. Again, I click the FBX. I untick, include the geometry, and I tick, include the animations, and also I want to save one tick per file. Next, the file name should be Python01 as well. I click OK and click OK. Now you can see it export all the animation FBX file into this folder. Next, you open back your Unreal Engine, go back to the content folder here. I already created a new folder named Animals. Inside my Animals folder, I right click, create a new folder again. So I will name this folder as Python 01. I double click in, 
Python 01 folder. Next, I open my folder here. First, I import the Python 01 FBX into here. And then I click import all. Once finished, it will pop out a message log. Just need to close it. And wait for a while, you can see the Python 01. You still cannot see the texture. You still need to wait for a while until it loads all the textures. This is the Python 01. All right. Next, we are going to import the animation first. Before that, you open your skeleton mesh of the Python 01. You change the texture here to the Lambert material instance. It will make it better. Now, you can close this. Next, you create a new folder right here. You name it as animation. Enter. Double click in the animation. Next, you open your file explorer again. We are going to import all the animations here. Attack, crawl, crawl fast, crawl all of this. Drag in. And you must make sure that the skeleton you choose the Python 01, the Python 01 skeleton. The animation length you must choose the animated time. Next, you click import all. And wait for a while until it finish. Now, after finish transfer, it will pop out a message log. You can just close it. You can see all of these animations are ready. You can just check it one by one. The first one is Python 01 attack. You double click, then you can see the animation. The Python 01 crawl. It is crawling. And you have a you have an idle post as well. This is the idle. So now we want to make this Python as a main avatar. What you need to do is you back to the Python 01 folder. You double click the Python 01 skeletons, make this. You should be able to see a retarget manager. If you can't see, you have to click here to activate the retarget manager at here to show it there. Next, select the rig. You have to choose the humanoid rig. This is compulsory and click clear. Next, you click save. And then you can close this. Next, what you are going to do is go back to the content folder. Go to the mannequin. And you can see an animation. Sorry. You go into the character folder first. Go into the mesh folder. When you see the skeletal, this one's Unreal Engine 4 Mannequin Skeleton, you double click it. Make sure you can see the retarget manager or you activate from here. And you must make it become humanoid rig. It is compulsory. Next, you click save and close. Next step, you go back to the mannequin folder. It's under content mannequin. Enter the animation folder. You can see a third person animation blueprint. You right click it, retarget, click the retarget. And here you must choose you must choose the Python 01 skeletons and then you click retarget. You can see immediately it will come back to it will come back to here. It will come back to the contents folder. What you are going to do is first you rename rename the third person animation blueprint here. You click and press F2 at behind. You add an underscore and name it as Python01. Enter. Next, you double click the third person's either run. Double click in. The first point here you want to replace by using the Python 01 Edo. Drag and drop into here. Next, the second, you choose 
the Python 01 crawl. The last one here, you replace it with the Python 01 crawl fast. Replace it. Next, we want to try and test it. See? Depends on the different speeds. Now you can save it already. The next step is to make him become a main avatar. Close it. Before that, I want to open this. This is the navigation plane here. And we want to move everything. Okay, it is under the animals folder, the Python 01 animations. We want to we want to move everything. You click the first one, hold the shift, and click the last one. All will be selected, and you drag into the Python 01 animation folder. Drag in and move it there. Because we, we don't want to occupy a lot of things under the content folder. We want to make it systematic. Next step, we want to make the Pythons become the main avatar. So what you are going to do is go to the content folder. You, you should be able to see a third person blueprint. Enter the blueprint. You can see a third person character is here. You right click it, duplicate it. Once you duplicate already, Rename it, put an underscore behind, and add a Python 01. Double click it. Click the mesh. Click the viewport. The skeleton mesh, you are going to change it to become Python 01. The Python 01 skeleton mesh. And then the, the animation class, you are going to change it to Where is it? Third person animation blueprint Python 01. Change it to this. Next. Move, move the mesh into the center. Make sure it is at the center. This is the idle. Now, once at the center already, click compile and close. You still left one more step. Go to the edit. Go to the project setting. And then click the maps and modes. You should be able to see that you have a selected game mode. The game avatar, the main avatar is the default pawn class. You change it to become the third person character, Python 01. And now you can close it. Now you test to play your game. You should be able to see that this is your Python, your Python snake, already become the main avatar. The graphic setting is very low now. I want to change it. Change the graphic setting. The engine scalability setting. I change it to Epic. Now, we try again to play. You can see this is a really good graphic and you have some of other NPCs that I already put it there. Tiger. This is the idle state. And then, once you start to move, you can move the snake. And now this snake already become your main avatar of the game. You can play it anywhere. It is really awesome. Now, we also want to try to put it as NPC. Let's say now, the third person character blueprint, I put an NPC here. Now, this is the NPC. And, and I also can go back to the Python folder. It is under the contents. The animals, Python 01. I can direct drag out the animation some of the animations like, for example, attack, and put it here, or here, the defense, I can put one at here. 
I press E so that I can rotate the direction. So now actually I put them as NPC and I try to play again and have a look how all this work. Here you have one, the Edo states. And here you have one, the defense states. And also here you have one more attack animation NPC at there. And they are really awesome, so all of these animations. We use the Icron 7 as the, the animation pipeline and created all of these all of these animations, all of these avatar, like NPCs and main avatar. You can create a lot of awesome games in Unreal Engine 4. And that's all for today about how to create a Python snake in Unreal Engine and that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.